What is up guys, we're back with another Pokemon Sun Moon move set and strategy guide. This is actually for our Rack uh, Before this video does start, feel free to drop a like down below and subscribe as well if you want more videos like this in the future. Um, also leave your guys' sets in the comment section down below. Uh, more than likely I will respond and possibly use your set as well. Um, also leave it down there for others that actually do see this video. That would be awesome if you have a set that is not in this video. Um, as for our Rack this thing is awesome guys. Um, actually, you encountered this thing on my playthrough and actually ended up sticking this thing on my playthrough team and it was an absolute beast. Um, water bug typing, your only weak typing, uh, flying and rock, so, and electric, so, um, not too many weaknesses. Um, as for the stats, 6 HP, 68 HP really isn't the best. Uh, 70 attack really doesn't seem that like that much or that spectacular, but after its ability and what kind of moves that it does get, uh, I'll go over that in a little bit as why it actually is very, very well and super good. Uh, 92 defense is eh. 50 special attack is blah. Not really that bad, or super bad actually. Um, 132 special defense, very awesome. This thing could be eating up like a shitload of uh, special defense hits. 42 speed, really doesn't matter. We're going to be slow either way more of a slow mod based on like spider water I think it's water bug or water spider um, as for the abilities hidden ability I don't think I, I'm not quite sure if it's released yet or something I haven't saw any of it but water absorb really doesn't matter it's kind of irrelevant if you want them to absorb the water or water hits I'll give you a water immunity it really doesn't matter but with water bug well this is probably one of the most OP abilities uh, there is in gen 7 actually right now um, I guess apart from comatose Probably one of the other uh, OP abilities off the top of the head. Water type moves are two times the power. So your attack is going to instantly go up um, from being base 70. It can't be burned. So your immunity to Skull is burned. Your immunity to Will O Wisp and firepower against or fire moves are reduced by half. So you're able to eat up like Flare Blitches, Flamethrowers. Um, pretty much anything you want to come in on is fire type move. It's going to be half uh, damage with the water bubble ability. Um, two times the power for water type moves, and you can't be burned. So pretty much a three in one ability here, making it a super OP ability. And I think it's one of the things that makes a rack it as, as good as it actually is. Um, that really doesn't have the most type of a smooth pool. You're going to be seeing like a lot of the same moves on this mod. Really not too many options for this mod's move pool. Um, Liquidation, probably the move you're going to be spamming with this set. Uh, it's actually a max uh, attack, max HP set. With the water bubble, uh, liquidation, and plus stab on top of all that, all that stuff, and the choice band, there really is nothing you can really hit um, that is not going to be dying. Even like a resistance hit, probably going to even be doing over half. I've actually used this thing on actually the ladder lately, and this thing is actually an absolute monster. There really is no switch into this thing unless you're like on immunity or something. You have water absorb yourself. Um, or you're like a really insane tank. You're really not going to be taking um, hits very well from this thing if you're going to be switching in. Um, granted, it's very slow, so you're probably going to try to bring this thing as like a revenge killer or something to possibly bring it down, like something that has a type of disadvantage and have to switch out, uh, especially if it's like one of your opponent's wing cons. Um, choice band run the adamant to get the most out of that attack. Uh, you pretty much just spam liquidation. Liquidation is going to be the move you're pretty much clicking pretty much all the time. Uh, Leech Life, I guess if you want to hit something for super effective and get a little bit of HP back, it's always good. Poison, Jab, pretty much just for fairy types, I guess. Even though Liquidation would probably still be doing more, just because of the water to bubble. Um, Crunch, I guess for like Psychic types as well, I really don't know why. It's pretty much for coverage, I guess you could stack on Facade there as well, or something. Really doesn't have much options here. Um, Lunch, a bit irrelevant since you do have uh, Leech Life. I don't know, really not too many other options. I guess if you want to run with Crunch, you could. Uh, EV, EVs are pretty much straightforward. 48, 258. Um, assault Vest set, pretty much going to be the same as the last one, but with this Assault Vest, you're able to eat up people very well, coming in on things that like they're like, I guess like a fire type mon, coming in on that, like special fire mon. Um, Stuff like that, you just eat up a lot of hits coming on in. You have max stack, you're gonna be hitting super hard with the uh, water bubble liquidation. So, 
not really too much to worry about. Again, a lot of these sets are kind of straightforward. Raffin is really straightforward to use. Uh, it doesn't give you too many options, but um, I guess probably a choice band is going to be super common. Probably the only reason it's going to be probably staying in OU. I do pretty good thing to be in UU or OU. Um, it is weak stealth rock being a part bug type, so that is something to mention as of right now. Pair it with a good defogger or rabbit spinner. Uh, something like for like Kamala or uh, Delmai, something like that. Delmai actually looks very good actually pairing with this thing because next year they share the flying sickness, never mind. Um, more of a uh, special defensive set here with the leftovers. You can also run a salt vest, I guess, if you want to run like a salt vest left for salt vest. Uh, it's fully special defensive tank. He has no recovery apart from like the heat slice, I guess. Um, Liquidation, Leech Life, Toxic, I guess, for Wind Living Sound and Facade. Making you pretty much not super useless. Uh, if you get, like, burned or Thunder Waved or Toxic or something like that, uh, you're still not going to be super useless. Uh, you can at least do damage back. Because you're going to be a wall, you're going to probably be taking statuses, and it's going to be one of the things you want to take status. So, Facade, at least you're going to be benefiting from a status. Again, kind of straightforward with the EVs right here. And uh, the last set, uh, Leftovers. Uh, more of a like a double ball set, pretty much able to eat things up on the defensive and special defensive side, um, evening both out and throwing enough in HP where you'll be able to get up a lot of hits. Uh, Leech Life, Liquidation, Poison Jab, pretty much the three moves you're going to always be seeing on a Raphnid or Raphnid. And last moves, pretty much up to you, you can run Crunch, Facade, uh, uh, Frustration, Return, really not too many other options here. I guess Waterfall, but really irrelevant just because you have Liquidation, which is five times, or five points better in uh, power and lower defense. So, not really too many other options. Aqua Rain, I guess, you can throw on one of the sets, but you're going to be switching out a lot anyways. Uh, kind of a thing where you pretty much be staying in. Hopefully you can survive hits and just take advantage of it if you're going to be throwing it on the set. Does get a uh, Leech, or I think an Infestation here as well. Let's get Rain Dance, so a bulky Rain Dance setter. Soak, I guess, for doubles. I think if the thing would even get, uh, like, Sticky Web, it would even be more broken than it already is. I think Ragnet's not super broken, but it does its job very well. Uh, being that it's probably one of the best abilities, it makes it very, very relevant. If it did not have Water Bubble, I think this thing would actually be um, pretty bad, in my opinion. But the ability pretty much makes Mon right here. That's really what I'm saying with Mon. Again, really not too many other things. Let's get stockpile, I guess, for BP. Want to set up stockpile and wall shit out. Other than that, really not too many other options. Really doesn't get too much here. I guess hidden power if you want to run that, but nobody's ever running special on this mod. But yeah, again, Rachnid. Or Rachnid. I don't know, I was probably saying that wrong. Kind of a straightforward mod. You're mostly going to be seeing the choice bands that are possibly maybe like Life Orb or E Build. Something of that variety, or maybe like a oh, salt vest set. Probably going to be two most common sets on this thing. If you have anything other else that I did not say in this video as for move sets, throw them down in the comment section down below. That'd be awesome. And leave a like and subscribe if you want more in the future. It really helps me out, and I do appreciate it. We'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Peace.